is fact and solution. In a regular parking place, 50% of the area is for vehicles, and 50% is for the use of runways for the vehicles, for the restaurants, for service in general. Terms. In a inclined platform uh, parking slot, the efficiency goes even less. So, this is our study case number one. In a regular parking lot with regular parking places compared with the use of car stackers. In this parking place we have like 200 car stackers and we are going to make a, just a brief. Of course the figures, I'm talking about amounts of money, are related to Mexico City situation. You can take those figures and figure out in your country how, how those numbers could change. Yeah. You're always talking about car stackers for just two cars. Yes, yes. This, this is the case is, is in Mexico City, one of the suburbs where the land cost is like $1,000 square meter. It's not, it's really a regular price. So just about cost of the land, you have a, a, a thousand square meters, you'll get a million dollars. So the R for the vehicle would be only 55% and going further from the efficiency I showed you. So for 44 vehicles, you will spend like uh, 12.5 square meters. If you go and compare the regular solution with car stackers, this would be the figures. Here you will park 44 vehicles. So the total amount only for parking for the land cost, you will invest like $22,000 only for talking about only for land cost. For you're, now you're talking, park. you're talking always about outside park. Yes, sir. Not, yes. not inside. Not no, that. no, no. It's just land cost, yeah. just with civil war. Building cost is almost the same, it's just at the same level. So land cost would be like twenty-two thousand dollars per each parking space. With the use of car stackers, considering the investment of car stackers and adding to the land cost, the price would reduce to twelve thousand. So figures out are just like an example, because in your country you can make your own figures. And what would be your cost then for, uh, let's say, inside park? So some some, uh, some digging. Under, underground, you know, they're building a, a building and say two stores yes. for that, the staggers. Yes, like an example. In a regular parking uh, lot, underground, they will have to dig like minimum to leave clear escape like 2.2 meters, 2.1 meters clear escape inside the underground parking lot. Yeah. If you go to car, uh, car stackers, they will have to dig a clear escape 3.6, 3.5. Yeah. So they will go for their one third and they will duplicate the parking spaces. Yeah. Of course, they will have to add. So what would, what would be the cost, the approximate cost? Per per car, let's say if it's here, if it's here, twelve thousand dollar. What would we, what would it be in that case? That that imagine that imagine that in digging two point uh, two point two meters clear escape to dig three point uh, four meters escape, yeah. you you will add one third of the cost. Extra cost is one third because you are going more or less thirty three percent uh, deeper. Yeah. So it depends on the figures on your country. Let's say how, how costly it could be in Barcelona to dig one third of the depth I'm doing now. How much would it be in, in, in Mexico? We will go in a further in a further case. <coughs> yeah. Because the other important point uh, which goes after this is when you make a building yes. like this with, with, with platforms going up and everything, you've got a certain lifespan for this building. 10, 20, 30 or 40 years. Now if you put your staggers outside in the rain and battered by the, by the, by the weather, yes. what lifespan spend does your uh, system have? Considering that the system are powder coating and all the moving uh, components like pulleys, cables and all things, let's say, are not powder by panacelis, thin, thin galvanizers, like the thin colors. Yeah, okay. okay, but still. Galvanized, but it's thin galvanized, I guess. So it's, the lifespan could be at least 15 years. Of course, within, within 15 years, the investment is already, um, I don't know. Yeah, but, but now, you're, this, this particular investment, yes, but if I compare it, I mean, you're comparing here with a building, <coughs> a building with, 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 uh, with ramps going up. So, although you spend the double, 
but you can probably use it for two or three times the time. Uh, the lifespan is two or three times longer. Yes. Definitely, definitely the lifespan of a regular building is larger than this case. But the cost that you are uh, having on the infrastructure and you go with a different solution, maybe the financial, even though, even more with this actual uh, economic movements, the financial costs during the time are costly if you have uh, a shorter period of time to, re to amortize your investment. Nowadays, it's even more. Now, maybe in some years ago, long-term investment could be affordable, and you, you could have it for sure. But with, <coughs> I guess that, that the, the, the short-term investments that could be already amortized, the short-term, are, are more profitable, considering the, the risk of the market, of the world market we have now. Yes, yes. Ah, no, no. What the hell was that, Carl? Okay. Carl. 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 What was that ringtone, man? What was that ringtone? Is that what it was? I think it was just muffling it. Now we're going to, to compare the uh, case like the Fernando Masset, a parking place with inclined platform and a parking place with <coughs> system. Uh, and here is on the project we have sold the one that I told you three models five and five. It's in Polanco district. Which is a high potential district, like in your in your own cities. Yeah. It's a small land area, only 350 square meters. The cost of the land is higher because of the the cost is nearly 2.5 times. So we are going to see the figures later, but the figures are are printed there. But we are going to show the results at the end. In the ground area, in the in the inclined platform, this is the efficiency of the use of parking space. The total cost would be like. $30,000 per parking space, considering the efficiency we have lost because of the inclined platforms. Uh, civil work, this civil work, on my point of view, is a little, a little cheaper than it would be on the real, on the real but we, we try to make it as big to have a better comparison. And we will compare this with the postal system. On the postal system, I will, I will explain you. The only civil work we require from the, our clients it's the concrete slab. It's the only civil work they have to do. So uh, it's, it's very cheap on that part. Uh, our clients will only require, we only require for them the, the power supply and the uh, concrete slab there. Uh, the PSH 5 times 5 or 21 car spaces at 6.5 meters uh, depth, 12.5 meters on the face, on the front, as, uh, and uh, 9.5 meters cage. Just, just like a parenthesis there. So this would be the figure. The figure considered a, a civil war, also very, very cheap because it's only a free slab, will go from $30,000 to $20,000. One of the, it's 34% less on, on that price. So, our clients, and we show some of these figures, and we take numbers in our particular situation in our in, in our own countries. We could find how how diminish this number. Maybe this number for you at this moment is it doesn't make sense, or it, it could make sense in some way. But you can make your own number in your city, considering what you require of the client, or what they can do with a regular building or a solution, a solution like this. Not because it depends on the on the volume of vehicles going in and out, but I will tell you the following. The side to side moving platform is correct me if I'm wrong, like the side to side is like like the less than one third of horsepower, right? 
the side-to-side -side yeah, yeah. motor. Yeah. So 